Hey everyone, Emily with Bob's Watches. Today we're talking all about how to store your Rolex and going over some of the top methods for keeping it safe and clean when you aren't wearing it. Also, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on our latest video content. Most watch enthusiasts own multiple timepieces, which means that they need a place to store them when they aren't being worn. Some people with only a couple watches simply keep the one they aren't wearing on their nightstand or dresser, while other collectors have elaborate storage systems that keep their watches fully wound and secured under lock and key. However, the perfect watch storage solution for one person isn't necessarily going to work for another, and there are a few factors to consider when deciding how to store your Rolex. One of the most important things to think about when finding your perfect storage solution is how often you wear your Rolex. If it is your go-to watch and you wear it pretty much every day, then you really only need a place to keep it at night and on those handful of days that it isn't on your wrist. In this case, almost any box or display case will do. However, if you own multiple Rolex watches and you switch off wearing them on a regular basis, then you may want to explore winder options that will keep your watches wound and all set to the correct time and date. Another factor to consider is the type of watches that you own and the amount of atmospheric humidity that is present. For modern Rolex watches, this won't be an issue at all since they are all water resistant, but for vintage references, especially those that have not been serviced or had their gaskets checked in a while, this can be a serious factor. If you own a number of older vintage Rolex models and live in a very humid environment, then it may be worth investing in a humidity controlled watch box that will help ensure that the irreplaceable components of your timepieces do not suffer inadvertent moisture damage. Now, as far as the different types of Rolex storage solutions, let's take a closer look at a few of the most popular options. Some Rolex owners choose to keep their watches inside their original boxes when they aren't wearing them. And while this is perfectly fine, it isn't quite ideal for a few different reasons. For starters, these boxes are really just packaging materials rather than items designed for daily use. Opening and closing them multiple times a day will only put additional wear and tear on them and cause them to break down faster. However, more important than that is the fact that these boxes really weren't designed for this purpose. In addition to the actual box itself, modern Rolex packaging also includes both a cardboard outer box and a sleeve that goes around it, so accessing your watch isn't exactly a super quick process. On top of that, you also won't be able to see your watch at all when it's in the original Rolex box, and the dimensional footprint of the box is far larger than the watch itself. So having more than one of these on top of your desk or dresser can look a bit cluttered. One of the most popular ways to store a Rolex is in a watch box or display case. Unlike the original Rolex box, these boxes are designed for daily use and typically feature a clear top panel that allows you to view your watches when you aren't wearing them. Additionally, many of these watch boxes are designed to hold multiple watches, and this means that you can continue to add to your Rolex collection without giving up valuable desk space in the process. Another incredibly popular way of storing your Rolex, and probably the go-to travel method for collectors, is the use of pouches and watch rolls. These are typically soft cases and they can either house one or multiple watches. However, there are some watch rolls that feature rigid outer structures to offer a greater degree of protection. While pouches and watch rolls are incredibly space efficient and perfect for travel, they do not offer any significant level of protection against impacts or moisture. Furthermore, they also do not allow you to easily view the watches inside, so most collectors use them as a travel storage solution rather than a primary means of keeping their watches at home when they aren't wearing them. Watch winders are another incredibly popular way of storing a Rolex, and unlike the other methods we have covered this far, winders have a functional purpose beyond just being a nice, safe place to keep your watch when it is not in use. All modern Rolex watches feature automatic winding movements, which means that they must receive daily wear and motion in order to wind themselves. The concept behind a watch winder is that once it is properly configured for your Rolex, it will periodically turn on and off, rotating your watch and allowing it to receive enough motion throughout the day to keep itself fully wound. There are many different types of watch winders, but the most common type is one that is more or less a watch box or display stand with a motorized section that works in conjunction with a timer to move the watch in a circular motion. More expensive models can feature space for multiple watches along with advanced settings and premium materials, but the core concept behind them remains largely the same 
regardless of design or price point. Letting your Rolex stop running is not in any way bad for it. So the main reason why you would want to use a watch winder is so that it will still display the correct time and date when you pick it up to wear it next. Setting the time on a watch is not all that time consuming, but if your Rolex has other features like a day and date display, then you may want to consider using a watch winder so that you don't have to reset your watch each time you wear it. Lastly, some collectors choose to keep their Rolex watches inside safes or even at the bank in safe deposit boxes when they aren't wearing them. Rolex watches are valuable items, and this makes them a popular target for theft. A safe deposit box is easily the most secure method for storing your Rolex, but since your watches will be at the bank rather than at your home, access to them will be limited. Consequently, many collectors opt for an in-home safe as a means to get superior protection for their watches without having to give up the ability to wear them whenever they want. A home safe may not let you admire your watch when you're not wearing it, but the level of security it provides is far greater than any other at-home storage solution. In addition to being a solid safeguard against theft, a well-built safe can also protect your Rolex watches against fire and flood damage too. While a decent home safe will cost far more than either a watch box or winder, it will still be far less expensive than having to replace your Rolex watch if it gets stolen or destroyed. At the end of the day, there is no end-all best way to store your Rolex because what is best for one person may not be best for another. Therefore, it is most important to find a Rolex storage solution that works best for you, and this should be one that easily integrates into your life without forcing you to change how you wear your watch. Thanks for watching our video on how to store your Rolex. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on all of our latest video content.